you dapper tonight. Thank you very much. I just heard you were coming. There's this on. And you. Now you're <laughs> Both of you, everyone. And you, mate. <laughs> now you're a new single, Storming the Charts. Yes. You're so happy. It, yeah, it's, it's scary, really, because it's a bit like, you know, people are like, oh, it's on the charts. You're like, yeah, but there's still like four days left. What if it just suddenly drops like 213 and then it's like, oh, you, you came in at 170, Connor? Like, well done. Because you've got to go and do these chats at radios. You've got to go and do it live. And like, it could end up terribly for you. Now your new album, tell us yes. more about that. Still working on it, so there's not really much I could say, but um, I've, been, I've worked with some, some cool names so far. Um, I had a song which had uh, a bit of input from Timberland, which was Cray Cray. Um, I bumped into Travis McCoy over in New York as well. Still going for the Susan Ball duet. Fingers crossed, just living the dream, cash. A possible One Direction collaboration, you think? Maybe? Well, that, that would be cool. But then there'll be six people on one song. It'd be a bit crowded, wouldn't it? Like, I think it'd be good. Maybe I could sing and they could do backing vocals or like. <laughs> but, um, but I think we'd, we could figure it out. We'll see. Now, Johnny Knoxville is the biggest prankster ever. What is the biggest prank that you've ever done on someone or had happen to you? Um, I don't really know. Are you a good boy? Prank. Don't play pranks. Funny enough, people. this is really weird. I got asked this earlier today. What's the biggest prank you've ever, um, ever pulled? And I'd like to try and do it to you, but it would look really inappropriate if I did it. Because I, I then pretended I was like, you've got, I was like, hold on, I can't listen to you. You've got something on your shirt. Ah! <laughs> that See, they all fall for it. I knew, if you'd done that, that's there we go. I knew it would have That's the biggest break. prank I've ever done. Best prank I've ever done. <laughs> High five. I think that was pretty good. And now, obviously, the film as well, it's about him looking after his grandson. Right. Are you a good babysitter? Have you had any babysitting nightmares? The first time I did babysitting was really rounded me enough. It was the first time I ever met Rita Ora. We, we both met um, because we were babysitting our manager's kids and um, just for a night and uh, the, the baby threw up on Rita. No. That's pretty sad. Sorry Rita, she probably didn't want to tell that story. But Anything happened to you or you? I was safe. It didn't, it didn't hit me. I was alright so it was all good. So you're I, a good I dodged the vomit, which is good. That's great. Oh, brilliant. Well, good luck with your new album. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cool.